Welcome to the new BMW 7 Series. My name is Stefan Peters. I'm the project manager for human machine interface of this new 7 Series. First, I would like to show you the feature to connect the phone to the car, and therefore we use near field communication. You can use a compatible phone and you just need to hold this phone with the near field communication technology to the point in the front. It's connecting to the car. You get a confirmation screen on your mobile device. You just need to press the OK button and then your phone is connected. Next, I would like to present our gesture control. For the gesture control, we have a camera up under the roof, which is supervising the area above the gear shifter and up to the height of the display. And in the width of the center console, you can do gestures. And I would like to show you all these gestures. First, you can control the volume just by turning your finger clockwise to increase the volume or turning counterclockwise to decrease the volume. The second gesture, which is always working, is a customizable gesture, and we call it the two gesture. And with the two gesture, you just need to do it like this. And in this case, it's selecting the next title. And we can customize this gesture with different features. For example, here I select the turn off control display. And if you do the gesture, you can switch the display off and you can switch it back on again. And for example, you can up the gesture with starting route guidings back to your home address. We can even use gesture for an incoming call. Check, like I get a phone call right now. And I can accept it just pointing and pulling back. If I do not want to accept this phone call, I just need to swipe to the right. Another gesture which we use is for the camera system. If we have the parking system active, there's an easy way to turn your car 360 degrees around. And I just need to grab a point and swipe it to the left or to the right. And in this way, you can adjust the camera perspective to the perfect view if there's a curb or anything else beside you. Now I would like to introduce the intelligent safety button. It is located in the center of the dashboard. And by pressing this button that you can see that all the assistance systems are active. By pressing this button again, you can select your individual mode. And what you can do with the individual mode, you can customize it to your personal needs. There are a couple features which you can adjust in the settings menu for the intelligent safety button. For example, we have the pedestrian warning, front collision warning, lane departure, and blind spot detection. And when you switch one of these systems off, your ring will turn into orange. When you have the individual mode active and you want to switch back to the all on mode, you just need to press the button twice and then you go back to the all on mode and the ring has turned green, which means that all systems are active and working. Last but not least, I would like to introduce our new display key. When we have the display key, this is a key fob with the general functions like you will find in all other key fobs for the trunk, for locking, unlocking the car and for the alarm. But what is new with our display key is this area. And with this one, you get information about the car, like a status of how you left the car. Just to imagine, when you lock the car with the key, information will be transferred to the key about the latest status. And then when you're at home and you want to double check, uh, you can go into the key and look what's the status of the car, like it is secured. You can even have a look if the windows are closed or the sunroof. You can even get maintenance information. Or I can check if I left my lights on and if I need to go back to switch it off. As well available, we have the fuel range of the car. So you can double check in the evening if you need to fill up the car when you want to drive off early in the morning, for example. Next, we are able to activate the ventilation. Uh, with a range up to 300 feet, we can directly activate this ventilation with this button, or we can even set up a time to start ventilation early in the morning. For the new display key, we use kind of two battery systems. One is for the general function, and the other one is for the display. So if you imagine while using the display a lot and your battery is drained and the display shuts off, all the general functions of the key fob will still remain. And if your battery is drained and you want to charge your display key, you can easily put your display key 
into the wireless charging adapter, which is located in the center armrest. And you place your key inside there and it will um, automatically charge. If your phone is capable for wireless charging, you can even charge your phone within this wireless charging pocket. This sums up 5 out of 13 innovations for the 7 series segment here in the US.